returning from another hot day here in Costa Rica. Today we got up slightly earlier than usual to go on a hike. We thought we'd beat the midday temperatures, but it is already extremely hot. But the W Hotel is on a nature reserve here on the coast, along with the Westin, and then there's a few residences. So there is this place when we were driving in looked huge. It took us like 15 minute drive just to make it to the hotel after we went through the front gate. So there are a few hiking trails all along the property. Um, so we're gonna go do one of those. Apparently each hiking trail has an uh, animal that is the most common to be seen in that trail. So we've chosen the monkey trail. Whew. Because even though we saw some monkeys driving in, here, I didn't have my contacts in so I couldn't really see them. No, Alright, so we think we found the tr first trail that we wanted to do. It wasn't very clearly marked, so we're not 100%, but uh, so we think it's a pretty good chance. That one has... I'm confused. Is it that way? I don't... Is that a trail? Well, I see markers on it. Yeah. It would be that. That way would make more sense. I don't think this is a trail. Why are there markers over here? No, it's not a trail. This is very confusing. Okay, let's... So as is customary with a Jason and Katrina hike, we think we've taken a wrong turn. And that this is not actually the path, so we're headed back out to try to find the real one. But this map is confusing us, so uh, wish us luck. So the Congo Trail is the one with the monkeys. So I found it. So apparently this is a low slope one. So I can't imagine what the high slopes are like. Oh, this is literally the start of the trail. So yeah, starting off strong. There's not as much tree coverage as I thought there would be and I didn't wear my hat. So uh, might not be feeling too well after this hike. I thought there'd be shade. Oh God. So that's our hotel all the way down there. So the Congo Trail is about 3.73 kilometers. According to the map, it should take you three hours to walk it, but uh, I think we've been walking for like half an hour and we're almost done. This is the trail that you are supposed to be able to see the monkeys, and uh, so far, no monkeys. So, be a little disappointed if we don't see any monkeys, considering this is a pretty hot and grueling hike. So according to the map, this is a, a moderate hike with low slopes apparently, but encountered a lot of slopes um, mostly going down so not really looking forward to trying to get back to the hotel because uh, I'm guessing we're gonna have to go back up again the uh, trail is also not as much in nature as I'd like it to be it's kind of like a dirt road um, definitely vehicles have driven down here and uh, yeah there's not really much coverage up ahead so you're not fully immersed in nature here but at least it's well defined and uh, I'm not gonna get lost or take a wrong turn again, as we tend to do when we go hiking. So, yeah, we were just on the, we were just on the crab trail when really we wanted to be on the Congo trail for the monkeys. But look, this one has two Congo trails. One, two. This one only has one Congo trail. So maybe, so we, maybe we, we did just do this one? We did the first Congo trail. Oh wait. Trail. All right, so the map that the hotel gives you is a slightly different from the map that's along the trails. So it's proving to be very confusing. We're not sure if we actually just did the monkey trail or if we did the crab trail. So uh, we're gonna head on over here to see if we can find the monkey trail and then head back to the hotel because it is hot. Second 
the Congo Trail is a little bit nicer. It's prettier. It's a little bit more uh, tree coverage and uh, a lot less slopes. So enjoying this portion of the walk much more. Still no monkeys yet. You can see one lizard dash off into the forest. Alright, we made it through both of the Congo trails without any, not only monkey sighting, but almost no wildlife sighting either. So we're headed back to the hotel. We are hot and sticky and so ready for some pool lounging now. So glad we did it. Got some nice exercise into our vacation, but I'm still hoping to see some monkeys. The last time we saw monkeys, they were along this road on the way to the hotel, so there's still hope. And that's what I like to see. Some downslope, hopefully all the way to the hotel. I am so hot. I don't think I've ever been this hot in my life. I've run out of water. I accidentally spilt some of mine back there on the trail, but I think we're almost there. And it's down now. And the clouds. Oh. Now for the pool. Whew. got back from the pool. I've just been sitting out here on our balcony listening to the rain and what I think are monkeys howling. They're very loud. They kind of sound like wild boars, um, but I think it's monkeys. I'm not quite sure. Also really funny is that we, uh, after we went on that whole hike just to see the monkeys, one made an appearance at the pool. So of course, uh, but I kind of rather liked because of the way the pool is, it's a little bit like near the treetops. So the monkey came up on a tree like that was just right there by the pool, so that's probably the closest that I'm going to get to the monkeys anyways here in Costa Rica. So I guess if we were gonna have an encounter with a monkey, that is the best case scenario. So we got to see one little monkey in the tree. It's pretty cool, but of course, after that entire walk, just go to the pool. We're gonna have dinner in a few hours, so I'm just sitting here relaxing, listening to the rain and those howling monkeys. All right, we're uh, doing the outfit of the night. We are going to the Beach Club restaurant tonight. It's pretty casual here at the resort. Uh, no one really dresses up, even for the formal uh, restaurant last night. Everyone was super casual in there. So I have decided to wear my long floral skirts from Chicwish, and I paired it with just a $3 tank top from Arden just to keep it a little bit more casual. And then because this skirt is pretty long, I have put on my Steve Madden uh, sandal heels to keep it from dragging on the ground. Yeah, so it's just, just a simple, still really pretty and elegant, um, but still kind of casual look for tonight. <laughs> Good morning. 
morning from another beautiful day here in Costa Rica. Um, we've just finished breakfast and we're headed down to the second pool that we haven't spent any time at. So we're headed down to check out the scene there. We have come to realize that the pool up here by the lobby is adults only and the one down here is for children and there are very little beds. So uh, we just had breakfast so we're heading down there now to see if there's anything available because today at the adults pool they do have a private event tonight so they are shutting it down a little bit early. So we thought that we would just uh, go down to the other pool so that we could just be there all day and not have to worry about moving. And since there are so few beds down there it get it, it fills up pretty quickly and uh we, if we wanted to move it around three or four whenever they shut down that pool there probably would be nothing available so we're gonna go down there now and see what the situation is like down there it's very very odd um we had dinner in the restaurant by this pool yesterday and it was kind of a confusing experience it's a very beautiful space down there it's really really pretty especially at night they had like fire going and lights and it was really nice but like the restaurant takes up so much of the space so that there's less room for chairs and they can definitely move some of the tables out and just put lounge chairs there for the pool so uh, let's go check out the scene at this pool the only chairs left at uh, the pool down there were cabanas and Jason just refuses to sit in a cabana so we're gonna go sit at the adults only one until whenever they kick us out and then we'll figure out what to do then Rica for about a week and a half now and um, the first week of this trip was amazing absolutely loved it full of adventure full of fun activities and now we have come to the portion of the trip where we are just staying in a resort pretty much the whole time not leaving the grounds everything is good and perfect and there's not really anything that I need to wor worry about and I should be happy and relaxed but I'm just not I feel depressed and sad and it's really difficult for me. At the worst peak today, we just laid by the pool all day. We got up for breakfast, went down to the pool, and that's all we did all day. And in the later a part of the day, um, when we were laying by the pool, I just got just this feeling of and sense of dread and sadness. And I had just had to come back to the room and just be in my own solitude space. I think part of it, the reason is that I am going through PMS. Part of the reason is that I feel guilty about just laying up by the pool and not doing anything when I could be doing work or something productive or something fun or having a new experience, but I'm just laying by the pool. Just every day is out and I just, I feel like I'm just craving just a day inside. <laughs> um, and I feel guilty because you know, we're only here for a certain amount of time, so taking an entire day just to be inside, it's a long time when you only have two weeks in a country. So, like tonight we are we're kind of having trouble getting a dinner reservation and I just kind of want to say let's just get room service and stay in the room because I just want a little solitude. But we only have like three days here left, so on the other hand, I want to make the most of the experience here. So I am just really struggling today. Like I'm not excited to film anything, I'm not seeing anything that inspires me or anything like that. And um, yeah, it's just making me sad, it's making me doubt myself because I just don't, I don't have the feelings. I'm not inspired, I'm not, I'm not really interested in filming and I want to be. So that's what I'm going through today. I haven't really filmed much today because I've just been feeling really down, but I am, I'm going to force myself to get out right now. Hopefully this will make me feel a little better. Hopefully maybe I'll be a little bit more inspired, but right now I just don't feel inspired and I just feel like I'm doing a terrible job and I don't have a plan and everything's scattered. I just want to feel better, so 
we're not gonna lay in bed we're gonna go out and we're gonna try to make myself feel better so let's go Jason has gone on his own walk because he likes to do that for exercise and my walk is more of a leisure one so we decided to do separate walks I think it's kind of nice just to be by myself right now too that there was one directly above me and uh, something dropped from the trees and it went in my hair and I was afraid that uh, a monkey pooped on me but it was just uh, he dropped a berry on my head because <laughs> he was just right above me Sunsets here in Costa Rica are just so gorgeous. So look at that beautiful sky. <sighs> I'm finding my peace. I'm feeling a lot better. Mm -hmm. 